I love complimenting people. It just, it makes you feel good and it makes them feel good. And you get your good energy, don't you? Yes. It doubles your energy. Yes. Yeah. There's one, there's one that. runner that I run past uh, quite often in the ranches. And every time, I, the first time I ran past, I said, you have the most perfect body, which she does. And the second time I saw her and I went, there you go again. And I she was running my hustle and I said, that's the woman I was telling you about. She's the one with the perfect body. And we were running past each other. You could see her going, how embarrassing. What is that? But she just does. But it just, it's, it's lovely to, to up somebody, isn't it? I think. Yes, yes. So one of the things that I'm really, really big on at the moment all these days is positive energy. And that's because I was very negative about five years ago. And I studied energy and positivity for about 12 months to try and get my energy to flip it back to, to good again. And I learned so much about it. And as I learned about it, I started to connect more with my energy and I started to understand that it is all about energy. And now, you know, and I call uh, my goal setting energetic goal setting. And now you see, you know, energetic sales and marketing around, um, energetic growth, because it's actually using your energy to make things happen, to get the best out of you. And you can pass this energy on to other people. Mm. So yes, with your mm. compliment, because it's not what you're saying, it's actually how you're saying it. You are passing on the, the smiling, happy energy along with it. Another thing about the touching, so I'm running along again in the ranches and this lady's walking. I put my hand out for a high five and she gave me a high five back. We rotated again and you can see her thinking, I'm not doing that again. And I don't think she actually meant to give me the high five in the first place, but it was kind of felt that she should. Second time she was not going to go there. <coughs> quite interesting. I know, humans are very, we're very blocked to all yeah. of this. We and are. no eye contact, that's what's getting me down. I was so strict with my kids about that. It is imperative. You mean when someone talks to you that you need to talk Yes. Them? And say hello, look at them. It's, it's how we communicate by looking into each other's eyes. It is. It is. I wonder where, where that's going, the whole phone thing and the, the not that I don't love my phone I have to say but uh, that's quite interesting because you see how somebody's feeling inside don't you well, and the happiness media. shines out there's a good side to social media and there's definitely a bad side you know and the, with the rise of depression a lot of this is attributed to social media the way people can be so uh, mean to each other on social media mm. and the bullying mm. that you get mm. because they are behind a closed screen mm. you know um, for me it's a bit like the cars that are blacked out they are always the worst drivers yes. you know it's that being behind a closed screen yes they don't see a human at all and I, they... I got a comment the other day saying you're ugly what, what why did you feel the need to say that this is projection okay if you can get your head around this, it will make your life so much better because you will realize that what people are saying to you is projection of how they feel about themselves. How can it be about you? These people don't know you. I sent her a message uh, and I said, why, why did you feel the need to say that? Um, and, and I can't even remember what her response was, but I said, I, I hope that you will become happy. And she said, what makes you think I'm not happy? I said, because you wouldn't have said that if you were happy. And she didn't respond. But that is exactly where it comes. I mean, why trawl through people? If you don't like something, move on. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. When you said that comment to that lady, the reason that she didn't reply, I think, is because you stopped blindsiding her. She, she read what you wrote and she saw it. She saw it in her head and she thought, oh my God, yes, I'm the one that's not happy. It's not her, it's me. I'm hoping she did. Yeah. So it's good by just saying that, and this is how coaching works. It actually, it, it involves, you know, um, uh, working through, working through all of these things to understand what are you being blindsided by. Now, as you know, many people are blocked to coaching because in the same way that that woman was blocked, they don't want to, to see. Because if they, if they start to look inside their mind, they have to start to look in at everything. Right. And that's big. It's big and it's scary.
Totally. Sometimes when I've been uh, working all day and and just had a great day, I'll just get in the car and I'll just do a little video uh, just saying, I have had the best day. I am so happy. And it's just, and the more I say it, the happier I feel. It's like a, a little warm feeling that just grows. And then and I put it out there and I think people must sit there and think, stop being happy. Seriously.